hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, on today's video I'm going to be painting a brown outdoor wicker lounge white um, it's been something I have been wanting to do for a while and I've finally bitten the bullet and I'm going to do it um, because I just am sick of the brown color I'm sick of the dark colors outside so I'll be painting it white um, I went to Bunnings and I asked them how to do it, if you can, and they said you need the proper primer. So I'll be using the White Knight Grip Lock Primer. On the tin it says you can use acrylic or enamel, but and I, at the time I thought, great, I'll use the acrylic because I have a heap left over from the little white coffee table I did with chalk paint. So the first part of the video I'll be testing the acrylic versus the tile paint. I'm just testing quickly the durability of each and I'll make, be making my decision then on which paint I'm going to choose and which paint I'm going to use for the project. Um, uh, that's all I think I have to say now, so let's get started. Monday morning I gave the enamel one more coat like the tile paint um, I didn't worry about the acrylic um, yeah so this morning we're gonna test um, and just see which one will be the best I know which one's the best I've sort of tested a little bit uh, I'll just show you the different colors so this is the color I did the coffee table this is the acrylic and this is the one I, I wanted to do because acrylic is easy to work with and also um, I have a lot of that paint and also it would have matched the coffee table. This is the tile paint. The enamel is white. It's the color I bought it in. I didn't tint it or anything. It's a satin. So it's got a little bit of a sheen on it. It's getting less and less as it dries and cures. Um, just looking at them, either would have been fine. I wouldn't have minded. They both look really good. It's more or less the durability of it and how they're going to stay on the... Um, plastic wicker which to me was the huge problem and that's what I wanted to test so I'll show you now which one I'm going to choose and why so here is the little box that I painted as the trial um, the acrylic and here we have the enamel so I'll go in a little bit closer um, they both look really good actually the enamel's only got one coat on it I didn't bother putting another coat on it and this is a reason why when I I was going to I'm doing a scratch test first so when I did the scratch test and I've done it previously I'm not putting too much pressure on it but when I scratch it with my fingernail very lightly I'm not doing it very hard at all it's just coming off and the instructions it says you can place acrylic over the prime and it'll be fine um, but for me it wasn't at all We'll go over to the enamel. Now this is a tile paint. It does take a while to cure. It's been on about, probably not quite 72 hours. We'll have a look. I'll put the same pressure. And yeah, it's not coming off. Um, I'm going quite hard, well a bit harder on that two that's with three coats um, you can see there it sort of dinted it but it hasn't actually gone through to the base and that's probably because it's not dry enough and hasn't um, cured properly anyway yeah so definitely <laughs> with the test that will be the uh, it will be the enamel I was going to do a bit of a scrub test I might actually do that we'll try that now I don't think there's any point because I know which one I'm going to do but let's just have a go at that and see what it what happens okay so I've got this old sponge and I've given it a bit of a, a um, just made it a little bit wet made it a bit damp I'll go over the enamel <laughs> I'm a bit scared too I'll go over it really lightly see what happens now I'm not putting that much pressure on it at all really because um, I don't want to I'm a bit scared too but that's fine there, we'll try the acrylic. Well, that's not too bad either. Um, okay, we'll go a little bit harder on the enamel. 
I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on that now and really sort of not scrub scrubbing but okay that's fine and we'll add a bit more pressure to the acrylic about the same okay yeah okay so the proof that's the proof <laughs> yeah the acrylic is not going to cut it um, and the enamel was fine um, ideally when it's done I'm not going to be pressing poking scrubbing chipping away at it the longer this sits to the enamel the um, tile paint the harder it gets the harder it cures so I'm pleased with that that's only been not quite 72 hours so tile paint it will be so we'll go on to the next step and start painting the outdoor setting I'll be doing is this one here um, again I'll be sanding it roughly and I'll be vacuuming it wiping it over getting any dust off this one and the chairs I might actually do two coats of the primer because on the other ottoman I went over I must have overlapped some of the primer at some points and it really made a nice white base um, so I'll do two coats of the primer. It doesn't say to, and I don't think you have to, but that's what I'll do. I did that on the tiles as well, and it didn't hurt them. So I'll do that. Well, I'll just continue with this one and make a start.
I just vacuumed it and I've actually well sanded it before I vacuumed it and I'm just again so when I've sanded it you can sort of see where it's sanded <laughs> and it had, because of just the nature of the wicker I'm not going to be able to sand everywhere but I just go over it really quickly with some sandpaper um, I figure if anything's going to chip anyway it would be these bits so if they're sanded back a little bit it would always help I'm just wiping it over because I may not have got all of the little specks of dust off but also as I wipe over I just pick out any little things that are stuck in the wicker leaves tend to get stuck uh, things that sort of wedge into the corner but um, yeah if I pull those things out so like I said this is the last one I have to do so this morning I will set about putting primer on and I'll do another kind of primer and then tomorrow or Wednesday I can finish off and do the tile paint. So um, I do, like I said, I do two coats of primer and that's, and I think it's a good idea because, you know, especially with, with wicker and just the nature of wicker, it's hard to get into all of these areas. Um, there are little divots that sometimes you can't get into doing a second coat of primer. You can try to get into those a little bit more. And then the two coats of tile paint, um, you know, pretty much covered. By, you've done your, by the time you've done your fourth coat. Another thing too I just wanted to say is I've got to be careful if I put too much it's not really happening now, wait a tip. If there's too much on your brush and you do big globs you're going to get bits that are filled up and that becomes really noticeable. So just try to push if that happens just I just try to push my brush in yeah until it sort of empties and um, it's more even so the second coat of primer I'm going over pretty quickly um, because it has been done once and to be honest I don't even really think you need two coats of primer it doesn't say you do um, but there are little parts where you know I may have missed or something like that for example this little bit here there are also little bits sort of in between the wicker um, that I will try to get into a little bit more as I go along um, over the second coat and also again obviously when I put the tile paint on I'll cover those up as well basically with the second coat it's just to make it a little bit more I find a little bit more white so um, in the end the product will be whiter than and it won't sharp any of the brown yep these little bits in here that's what I mean like just getting into the little overall you know this sort of thing isn't going to be noticed really no. so it doesn't matter it's not going to ever be perfect you're not going to cover every little bit and that doesn't really matter um, yeah well I'll keep going with this second coat and hopefully it won't take me too long this morning and then this afternoon or a bit later 
I will start the first coat of the tile paint. second coat of um, tile paint on this part um, so again I have only done one coat of tile paint in the middle because I just don't want to waste it the cushion's going to cover that um, yeah so I think that will be good it's just got to cure and dry and the longer it's left the harder it will get so I'm really pleased with that it looks yeah looks really good um, on this I did two base coats so I did two coats of primer on the ottoman I did one coat of primer so I think I will continue to do the two coats of primer originally after I'd done the two coats of primer and one tile paint coat I thought I would just do the one tile paint coat but I did another one because it was still a little bit patchy um, yeah so I'm so pleased with that. I'm doing it outside now because it's just, <laughs> it's very stinky inside. Yeah, that's good. So we can get on to the next section. Instead of washing the paintbrushes in between, I'll just pop them in a Ziploc bag. It keeps them moist so they don't dry out. This is enamel, but you know, I also do it with acrylic brushes um, and yeah so I'll just finish that tomorrow so I won't film any more of me painting I get I think you get the gist of it all <laughs> um, and so I'll get back to you when I finish them and setting them up and I'll do a roundup and give you my thoughts on the process but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Lay 
dead Will you regret everything that you did That you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing finally come to the end of this fortnight's video um, it's taken me about three weeks to film not entirely like in bits and pieces and at one point I did run out of paint um, too so I had to wait a while until I got that but I think it's well there was a lot to do <laughs> it's very fiddly with the wicker also with the tile paint you're waiting eight hours in between each coat um, before you have to recoat so you know that's about a day unless you want to do it at night just things I've learned with it um, I don't think you need to put two coats of primer on I was saying through it I know that um, I put two coats on because it made it a bit whiter but <clears throat> just looking at the video and looking at the final result um, it doesn't seem to make any difference in appearance wise so um, two coats of primer it's up to you but you may as well save it I guess um, yeah so you've got some for another project put you better off putting thin coats on a few more thin coats than um, getting too much on your brush because it does get a bit blobby especially um, if you're painting the wicker that you know has the little gibbets and holes in it the um, paint can get stuck in there so I would do um, thin coats and that's for the primer and for the tile paint. The tile paint especially is very gluggy um, and oily and thick so um, you don't want to put too much of that on. Also another thing is with the wicker like it, you're not going to cover every little tiny bit it's not going to be absolutely perfect so don't worry about that. Um, what I'm going to do is a review of this in a couple of months time because while it looks amazing I'm just still not sure about the wearability of it. Um, we do have cats and they tend to claw at things um, and I'm trying to keep them off it now but um, you know I'm not going to be able to forever so I'll do a review in a couple of months and we'll see what that shows. I've put at the moment I've got the cushion covers on of that will be in next fortnight's video so stay tuned with that. I'll be showing you how to do the world's easiest box seat cushion cover. Um, so easy so quick and they turn out so wonderfully and I'll also be showing you how to do these cushions the scatter cushion and the back cushion they're just as easy each piece only uses one piece in the pattern um, depending on the size of the cushion that you want to do so um, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye